Greetings and welcome to the tutorial, Gravehammer here. Today we have a highly requested urban city v basing video, so let's dive into it right away. We start off by dry fitting a few pieces of cork material over the base. This one is 32mm wide. Always remember to blend the base with the model feed placement in mind and leave some flat surfaces where you can attach your troops. Once you have some sense of the placement, use either super glue to attach the cork material or use a suitable modeling glue, whichever works for you. Let the glue rest for a bit and in the meanwhile uh, prep the other required materials. Here I have 1.5mm iron wire that is coated and with clippers I just uh, cut just so I can remove the coating from the wire. It's easiest to do from the middle of the wire and especially if you are patch painting and creating bases I would recommend doing a larger portion of these. For the urban city feel I used a green stuff world resin bricks and also created a rubble from them. Drop a handful of the resin bricks to a sock and use a hammer to pound the bricks to rubble. Do not use too much force as it's easy to just pulverize the bricks and we want to have more of chunks that tan powder. The glue on the base has dried up and we start covering the base with a mixture of rough terrain and dark earth. Both products are from the diorama line from AK Interactive. Cover the whole base with this mixture, carefully, uh, carefully going over all of the cork material too. Uh, the mixture is great for doing a bit rougher terrain as it will create chunks of rocky ter uh, features on the ground, helping to create a very nice textured feel for the base. Again, be mindful how much you put on the texture and keep in mind that the uh, and keep in mind the uh, the feed placement of your model. Once the texture is dry, you can use a knife to level some of the features to let your model stand better on it. Next, we are placing some urban rubble on the base. Using gel-based superglue, I uh, do a few drops on the base and start placing some resin bricks on. Less is more in this case. Um, and two whole bricks are more than enough on such small base. After laying the bricks, add a drop or two of the adhesive again and place a coating tube from the iron wire between the bricks and one on the side, for example. Once you have the tubes in place, um, turn the uh, base around and add a few drops of adhesive again. This time uh, we are using the iron wire bits to create a feel that the ground is uh, some destroyed piece of cement with few construction wires sticking out from the behind. It's not supposed to be a super realistic, uh, but just add a bit character to the basing theme. There are several stores you know, on the internet that offer um, resin construction pieces, uh, for example in the scale modeling um, shops, uh, for example using steel beams or something similar, you can create a lot of variety for the bases. Once you have the tubes and wires in place, drop you a few bigger droplets of sand and gravel glue on the base, where you want to affix some urban rubble. I have a small medical uh, tablet spoon on which I usually lay the, uh, the rubble on the bases. Drop the rubble material uh, that we did earlier on the base and tap the base gently to get rid of the excess. The gravel glue is usually not strong enough to keep larger pieces on the base, so add a drop of glue on the base where you want a larger chunk to stand on. Go creative and work the base to your liking. For the painting phase, 
prime the base black with Vallejo black primer and come over it with scale 75 Miskatonic Grey. You can do this with either dry brush or airbrush, both work just as fine. Give the raised areas a bit more color, but leave the recesses and sides quite dark with shadows. For a, a bit of a different color for the shadows, uh, we use Acrax Airshade and give the recesses and, and shadows a bit of a brownish tone to them. After the agrax, go over the pipes and wires with whatever steel color you happen to have around. I used Vallejo metal color steel, which is a nice neutral color for metallics. But you can use, for example, a Citadel Elite Belcher for this step. This part is optional, but I wanted, to, uh, wanted the base shadows to be very dark and have the recesses be exceptionally deep. This is uh, mainly due to the fact that the Necron army I painted for the project itself is quite heavy on the shadows, um, so the base has to complement that theme. The idea is to emphasize the contrast between light and dark. After letting the base dry a little bit, I follow it through it with uh, streaking grime for dark vehicles. This greenish grey works extremely well with the theme, and we stipple some of it to the recesses. I would keep this layer rather thin and work the color with a hint of white spirits on the brush to push the paint more towards the shadows. If you feel like you've added too much of the stringing grime, just dab on with a dry q-tip to remove the excess. And here I'm using a little bit of white spirits to push around the stringing grime effect on the base. To get a bit more contrasting brown into the mix, we use a rust streaks from AK Interactive uh, on the metallic pipes and wires while the base is still wet with the other effects. This will allow for a little bit more uh, a wet blending, so to speak, but keep the brown relatively controlled around the metal sections. And to finalize the base, go over the base with Abteilung 502 Dust Oil Paint with a dry brush. Use a very gentle layer here. We want to have the raised areas pick up a little bit more color, but not to create an overly bright edge highlight. I recommend using soft bristle brush for this step. Using pigment dusting, we can add a final layer of light dust from AK. Add some of the pigment uh, with a dry brush, uh, with a dry uh, brush, not a dry brush, over the rubble areas, but keep it very light. Uh, the dust gives a nice little accent to the base, but this step I would consider optional. And there we have it. You can see a, a group picture of the Necron project I worked on to see how it looks with the larger army, simple and effective, and creates a night mode for the whole project. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, see you on the next one. Oh, and remember, stay grimdark.